nothing's going to stop us now may sound like the Luton mantra this season, but actually it was number one in the charts when they last beat Charlton. The year was 1987. Mick Harford scored the winner. Today he watched on as Harry Cornick netted for the first time in three and a half months to put Luton ahead. Charlton, though, are on a seven-game unbeaten run at the Valley over Luton, and they look dangerous with Lyle Taylor going close here. Luton's keeper, James Shea, was incredibly lucky not to have been shown a red card for this recklessness on Igor Vitakeli, but just a yellow it was. So he was still on the pitch when Charlton did give themselves a chance to equalise. Taylor was fouled by Sonny Bradley. He decided he would then take the penalty himself. And thus he did. In the most casual of manners possible, Taylor eventually scored to equalise. Then came some one-way traffic Luton Town haven't seen many times this season. Vita Cayley got himself on the score sheet after 70 minutes. And Vita Cayley then turned provider for Taylor's second of the afternoon. The goal, by the way, was Taylor's 21st of the campaign in all competitions and his sixth goal in seven games. It was also the nail in Luton's coffin. And their rare misery was compounded late on by the sending off of Andrew Shinney. He fouled Johnny Williams. Charlton have taken 15 points off their promotion rivals at home this season. I couldn't understand why Luton hadn't been beaten in so long. And I've just witnessed it because they're, they're a very good side. They've got everything. They're, they're very good in possession. They work great. They create a lot of chances. So, um, yeah. But for us, I think, I think we, we were the better side. I think we thoroughly did. Luton do remain top, of course, but their 28-match unbeaten run was ended at Charlton. Barnsley climb into second above Sunderland, who suffered just their third defeat of the season. The second automatic promotion place is wide open, with just three points separating second to fifth. Wickham were the only winners in the bottom seven going into the weekend. They climbed three places to 17th. Wimbledon were the only side in the relegation zone not to lose and are up to 21st. There were big wins for Accrington, Bristol Rovers and Shrewsbury to ease their fears of the...